Troygar. Greetings, I am Tad Larkin, the lore master of Mandalore, and today I'll be digging through the archives to elaborate on the plot to steal the Death Star plans, Operation Skyhook. Shortly after the signing of the Corellian Treaty in 2 BBY, founding the Alliance to Restore the Republic, Mon Mothma of Chandrilla, Bail Organa of Alderaan, and Garmbel Iblis of Corellia were taken captive and detained aboard a massive Imperial battle station for a short time before being freed by Galen Merrick. It was at this point that the Alliance became aware of this new battle station. However, none knew its true capabilities. Nevertheless, it presented itself as a major target. Months of counterintelligence operations and strikes against Imperial targets gave the Rebels a better understanding of what they were up against. And with the true power of this so-called Death Star revealed after the destruction of Despire, Mon Mothma allocated major resources for finding a weakness to this technological terror. A multi-phase operation designed to locate and retrieve key parts of the Death Star schematic scattered across the Empire was soon commenced. And with experienced operatives like Jan Ors and Bria Theron taking the initiative, Operation Skyhook was a go. Phase 1. The Mission to Danuta Kyle Katarn was born on Solist's moon of Sulon to a family of farmers. And while his father, Morgan Katarn, secretly favored the newly founded Rebel Alliance, Kyle always had a mind to join the Imperial military once he was old enough. After the tragic loss of his mother, Katarn did just that, and following his enrollment in the Imperial Military Academy on Caridia, he quickly shot to the top of his class, showing great potential as an officer in the Stormtrooper Corps. Cadet leader Katarn's most notable achievement came during a raid on the Rebel asteroid base AX-456, which led to him and his men successfully routing out a Rebel cell and taking the base. Unbeknownst to Katarn's peers, however, he let the Rebels escape, including a very lucky Jan Ors. Shortly before his graduation ceremony, Imperials raided Katarn's colony on Sulon disguised as Rebel forces and killed his father. News of which soon made it to Katarn's ears, and needless to say, he didn't think too fondly of the Rebel Alliance from then on. Still devastated by the loss of his father and his home, Kyle's friend from the Academy invited him to vacation with his family aboard the luxury liner Star of Empire, where he once again ran into Jan Ors. About to expose her as a rebel to the entire pro-Imperial starship, Ors showed Katarn a hollow recording of the attack on Sulon, explaining to him that it was in fact Imperial troops disguised as Alliance troops that raided his colony and executed his father for being a known rebel sympathizer. Katarn's extensive knowledge of Imperial tactics aided him in discerning the recording, and now believing Ors' claim to be genuine, he agreed to accompany Ors and aid the Rebel Alliance cause, to hopefully bring justice for his father's murder. Escaping a minor scuffle aboard the Star of Empire, the duo made it to Alliance HQ on Yavin 4, and after a lengthy debate with Jan Ors on whether or whether or not she should trust the former Imperial, Mon Mothma herself briefed Kyle Katarn on Operation Skyhook and the part he would soon play. Posing as a freighter captain carrying a cargo of mining tools from the corporate sector, Katarn was to land on Tenuta's capital, Trid. Meanwhile, Ors would make her way to Trid before Katarn through her contacts. This way, she could watch Katarn to either back him up if he needed it, or take him out if he double-crossed her. The mission didn't start out as smoothly as Katarn had hoped. As soon as he landed, the Imperial Customs official wasn't buying his fake identity or his forged documents. So, he had to bribe him. Next, he had to rendezvous with his contact, Mech Odom, another friend from Katarn's Academy days, and his only hope for getting into the Imperial Research Facility housing the plans. Odom wasn't too keen on helping Katarn at first, and after watching Katarn share drinks with the Imperial at the local cantina, Ors was convinced that he betrayed her, but all was explained and Odom came through in the end. He supplied Katarn with everything he needed to gain access to the facility. Penetrating the south perimeter gate and navigating through the system of air ducts, Katarn finally made it inside. Jan Ors took up her position in the freighter Katarn arrived in, the Moldy Crow. And while Katarn evaded blaster fire, fighting his way to the control room to retrieve the memory matrix, Ors destroyed Trid Spaceport's TIE Fighter Defense Squadron and harassed Imperials on the ground, diverting attention away from Katarn. 
close to his objective, Katarn met up with Odom one final time as he helped him gain access to the facility's control room. And to establish his cover while keeping his friend out of trouble, Katarn wounded Odom, incapacitating him. With the core matrix containing the Death Star plans in hand, Katarn made a beeline to the facility's roof, where Jan Ors retrieved him in the Moldy Crow. The mission to Denuda was a success. While the plans secured by Kyle Katarn were no less important, they did not provide a complete technical readout of the Death Star, and only when combined with other parts of the schematics would the Rebel Alliance be able to decipher a weakness in the battle station. I will continue to elaborate more on Operation Skyhook in my next transmission. This transmission was suggested by Jan Witowski. If you have any suggestions for future transmissions, don't be afraid to drop a comment. In the meantime, keep your calm channels open for future transmissions. And don't forget to subscribe. Tad Larkin, out.